The Type 039 submarine, or the Song class, is a diesel electric attack submarine in the Chinese PLA Navy. The Song class is the NATO classification of the Type 39, and it follows the NATO practice of naming each Chinese submarine classes after a historical Chinese dynasty. The Song class is the first truly modern attack submarine to be designed in China, although China has produced Soviet-designed submarines in the past. Being a diesel submarine, the Song class is naturally rather quiet and can be difficult to detect, especially in shallow waters. While it is a relatively aged attack submarine, it can still pose a threat to surface warships. In 2006, a US carrier battle group centered around the aircraft carrier USS Kitty Hawk was exercising in the East China Sea. A Song class attack submarine surfaced within 9 kilometers of the aircraft carrier and well within range of its homing torpedoes. According to the US Navy, the Song class was not detected at all before it had surfaced. In the real combat situation, the Kitty Hawk may well have been eliminated. Now, I am not saying that the Song class is the best submarine or even highly advanced, but I am saying that any diesel submarine can be potentially lethal to surface warships under the ideal circumstances and should not be underestimated. The Chinese developed the Song class as a successor to its aging fleet of Ming-class submarines. The development process was somewhat troubled, reflecting growing pains in the PLA Navy's early modernization. The keel of the first submarine was laid down in 1991, but it was not commissioned until 1998, due to problems with underwater performance and noise levels. After the launch of the first boat, an extensive rework to the design led to an improved variant known as the Type 39G, which became the model for all subsequent Song class boats. The main visual differences from the first boat is that the Type 39G features a more conventional conning tower that reduces its acoustic signature. A total of 13 boats were produced consisting of the one and only Type 39 and 12 of the Type 39Gs. The Song class displaces about 2,250 tons when fully submerged. The boat has a surface speed of 15 knots and an underwater speed of 22 knots, which is reasonably fast for a conventional submarine. The underwater speed is boosted by the teardrop shape of the hull, which provides for a more hydrodynamic profile. The total complement is 60 personnel, which is rather high for a small submarine. Because the class is designed for fairly shallow waters, the maximum operational depth is 300 meters, although in practice it might be able to go a little deeper beyond the extent it has been tested for. The Song class has some features for improved noise reduction compared to its predecessor, the Ming class. The reduction in water resistance owing to the teardrop hull would help with noise reduction to a small extent, because it will create less irregularities as the boat moves through the water. The other noise reducing features include the addition of shock absorbers to the engine which generally consists of a rubber base under the engine. The hull is covered in rubber tiles, which help to absorb sound waves and reduce the return signal, which lessens the effective range at which the submarine can be detected by active sonar. The rubber tiles also limit the noise emitted from within the submarine, which reduces its visibility to passive sonars. However, the Song class relies on a basic diesel-electric propulsion, which means it needs to snorkel in order to run its diesel engines to recharge batteries. When snorkeling, 
the submarine becomes quite visible, especially from the air, and may also be detected by high-frequency radars. The Song class does not possess Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP. The shorter duration the Song class can stay submerged increases its risk of detection, so ideally it should stick close to friendly bases. The Song class has a medium frequency sonar mounted in the bow, with both an active and passive mode. There are two flank sonar arrays for long-range detection, which consist of low-frequency passive sonars. Finally, there is a passive array ranging sonar which can be used to intercept the active sonar pins from an enemy vessel, and use this to determine the range of that vessel for detection and targeting purposes. There does not appear to be a towed array sonar, perhaps owing to the limited space available. The sonar suite of the Type 39 is influenced heavily by the 1990s French technology, although it is not clear to what extent has the PLA Navy modernized the sonar on the Type 39 since then. My guess is that the active sonar capability is similar to the improved Kilo class, but the passive sonar detection should be a step above the improved Kilo, because of the presence of flank sonar arrays on the Song class. When on the surface, the boat uses a small I-band radar for surface search. The Song class is also the first Chinese submarine to be fitted with a sophisticated electronic support measure, which includes a radar warning receiver and a radio direction finder. If the submarine receives warning that it has been tracked by enemy radar, it can quickly submerge to hide itself. In terms of armament, the Type 39 Song class has six torpedo tubes, and based on the size of the boat, it might carry about 20 torpedoes. The main torpedo for both anti-shipping and anti-submarine warfare is the U-6 heavyweight torpedo. Domestic Chinese sources believe the U-6 to be comparable to the Mark 48, with a similar range and speed. It has a firing range of above 45 kilometers and a speed of 60 knots. The U-6 uses a combination of active and passive acoustic homing, wake homing, and wire guidance. The U-6 is a successor to the older U-4 torpedo, which is much weaker in terms of range and speed. The Song class may still carry a combination of U-6 and U-4, because the latter can still be used for training purposes. The boat is also capable of launching the YJ-82 submarine-launched anti-ship cruise missile from its torpedo tubes. This is a subsonic missile with a range of 80 kilometers. Lastly, the Song class can also carry up to 36 naval mines in place of torpedoes. In summary, the advantage of the Type 39 Song class is its small size, its inherent low level of noise due to its diesel electric propulsion, and its reasonably formidable firepower. These traits make the Song class suited to coastal waters and within range of friendly bases, or in less contested waters away from home where they can snorkel in relative safety. This includes the littoral regions such as the South China Sea and the East China Sea, where the PLA Navy has of course the home field advantage. The Song class can be employed alongside other PLA surface assets and ASW aircraft to track down and eliminate hostile submarines. Basically, the Song class is very much a defensive asset, the lack of air-independent propulsion and a limited diving depth make the class less suitable for operating in the distant ocean. That said, the bottom line is that the Song class is far from obsolete. Under the right circumstances, it still poses 
a credible threat to surface warships of all types, as the 2006 incident involving the US aircraft carrier, the USS Kitty Hawk, demonstrated.